Hello, uh, the first topic is uh, what's belenitis, you know, so um, belenitis is an inflammation of the skin of the head of the penis, uh, which is known as uh, glans penis, you know, so and now the belenitis is usually found in uncircumcised males, you know, so the poor hygiene uh, can contribute uh, when the area of the foreskin is not washed regularly and the bacteria skin and the sweat accumulate, you know. So some underlying medical conditions are, um, can also increase the risk of belenitis, especially uh, diabetes mellitus, you know. Now allergies to certain chemicals can cause allergic belenitis. So this could be chemicals in the soaps or other um, products, you know, that are used on the uh, lens penis, you know. Now, a certain infection, especially yeast infection, you know, so can cause belenitis. So reactive arthritis is associated with inflammation around the head of the penis. Uh, and um, some sexually, uh, sexually transmitted diseases uh, can um, have similar symptoms like itching or redness, uh, but they are not um, uh, the cause of true belenitis. You know. Now, the symptoms of the belenitis are mostly redness, uh, uh, swelling, uh, itching, rash, and irritation on the penis, you know, and pain as well, uh, are on or around the penis, you know. Uh, now the order discharge can uh, accompany these symptoms and uh, the next thing is uh, what are the uh, treatment you know and how to uh, diagnose this one as well uh, so your doctor will uh, perform the physical examination you know and uh, he will uh, uh, have a look on the glans penis and its appearance or the you know, is it uh, inflamed or uh, are there any redness you know so uh, he will do the physical examination you know uh, and uh, uh, he will usually be able to diagnose uh, based on the asking the questions as well and you know so physical examination so uh, in most of the case, cases you don't need any kind of the, um, uh, further examination or test you know so your doctor will be able to diagnose it you know uh, it can be prevented, you know, by reducing the risk, you know, involved, you know, just by the proper hygiene, you know, and uh, uh, circumcision has been advocated as a way of preventing and reducing the uh, um, uh, chances of getting belenitis, you know. I know the treatment, um, uh, the underlying cause of the belenitis should be treated, you know, so uh, say if there is a... Uh, if it's causing due to, um, if the male is not circumcised, you know, so doctor may recommend the circumcision, you know, and if there is any kind of uh, other medical condition or poor hygiene, you know, so doctor will advise you to keep uh, the uh, hygiene uh, properly, you know. Uh, and in the worst cases, he might um, uh, subscribe the antibiotics if there is any kind of infection, you know. Uh, there are also over-the-counter products available, you know, just to reduce the swelling and um, uh, all those, uh, you know, things, you know. Uh, the prog prognosis is uh, uh, good, you know, so because if you treat the or you address the underlying cause, you know, so the uh, prognosis is very good, you know, and if uh, it's happening due to the person is not circumcised and um, that could be the cause, you know, so in that case, after the circumcision, uh, this problem will solve, you know. So the prognosis in general, the prognosis is very good.